Hello, hello, Periscope. Greetings, greetings. Had a quick teaching tonight. I love the word. Thanks for joining. Do me a, a favor. I'm not asking for money. I just need you to share this message. A quick teaching on tonight. This word has been in my spirit for about a week or two now, but I wanted to get this thing out. Blessings to you. Thanks for joining. Long time no see as well. Hope all is well. Miss Royer, thanks for joining. Look at who coming in. <laughs> Long time no see. Long time no see. I just thank God for y'all. Thank you for the hearts. Share. I'm not asking for money. I'm not, not asking you to sow, but I'm asking you to share this message. Hey, how you doing? God bless you. Anyway, I hope all is well. But y'all want to talk about a message tonight about the wrong vision. So many of us, we have the wrong idea of what a vision is. A lot of people, they, they think of their dream about, okay, some of you may have, some of you may want like a... Um, you may want a home that's your vision you may you may want a ministry you may want like you may want a church like somebody you may have vision that that's your vision there's a difference between now follow me on this there's a difference between your vision and god vision the reason why i say this because you can have a vision but see god can actually want want to do something for you there's some things that god has been showing you there's some things that god has revealed to you in the midnight hour i'm talking about that vision i'm not talking about your vision with your dream about what you want see a lot of us are it's about us it's about me being me but anytime it doesn't include god that's not a vision Anytime it includes what you want, what you want to do, about the goals you got set out to do, and it doesn't include God, that's the wrong vision. I'm going to share with you why. And I back it two and two. He says, then the Lord replied, watch this. He says, write the vision down and make it plain. He says, for the revelation of waste on an appointed time. He said, it speaks of the end and will not prove false. Don't it tarry. Wait on this thing. See, I'm talking about that kind of vision. How many times have God sent you a vision and you seen this thing come right on time? How many times has God showed you something? He showed you revelation in the midnight hour or when you was in prayer. When God showed you this vision and this very thing came to pass. I'm talking about the very next day. I'm talking about that kind of vision. I'm not talking about the wrong vision, about something you wrong, about your biggest wish or your biggest dream. I'm not talking about that kind of vision. I'm talking about the vision that God has showed you in the midnight hour. I'm talking about the vision that God has showed you when you were pressing into the face of God, when you were seeking God, when you were seeking a word from God. I'm talking about those kind of visions. When God showed you things play to play, what is about to happen in your life, what is about to happen in somebody his life connected to you that kind of vision but so many of us we have the wrong idea of what a vision is and see also watch this proverbs 22 and 18 he said where there is no vision the people perish now see i looked at this scripture as like okay well god i have a vision i have this vision to be successful i have this vision to have this church and have a big ministry and to to have a food ministry to have this and that see that i'm not talking about that kind of vision i always thought okay god okay if you show me this thing i know for surely it has to come to pass i'm talking about a vision when he was saying is the vision that the people have if you have no vision they perish right if you can't see ahead Catch this. If you can't see what God is getting ready to do, come on now. If you can't see if God's getting ready to move, if you can't see what God is about to do on your finances, if you can't see that God is about to send you through a trial or he's about to send you through something that you've never encountered before, I'm talking about that kind of vision. And see, I understood when he says those that don't have vision, they perish. You know why? Because you can't see ahead. Those are the ones, how many of you right now got that kind of foresight? See, God can show you thing after thing. You know this thing get ready to come to pass. Because if God showed me this vision, and if he showed this thing and he revealed it, I know it has to come to pass. I'm talking about that kind of vision. Those that can really see. Those that can really see what God's getting ready to do. Has God showed you? I'm not talking about your flesh vision. I'm talking about God's vision. Because many of you now, see, you waiting on what God is getting ready to do. 
See, God already gave you a glimpse of where he taking you. God showed you a vision. So guess what you're doing now? You're saying, God, I'm expecting this thing. One thing I know, I have this hope that God, if you showed it, it got to come to pass. I'm not worried about what it looked like. I'm not worried about the setback. That's a vision. That's why God say without a vision, the people perish. It's about, are you seeing what God get ready to do? Has God showed you? If you can just get a little bit of glimpse of what God's getting ready to do, you'll be rejoicing. Say, that's why God say, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what God has planned, what he has planned for those who love him. I'm talking about that kind of vision. Are you really seeing what God's getting ready to do? Are you seeing your vision? See, many of us, see, I'm prophetically speaking now. I feel the anointing. Many of you are wrapped up in your own vision. See, meaning pride. You know, your vision can be nothing but pride. Anything you try to exalt yourself before God, if you don't need God to do it, that ain't nothing but pride. I'm not talking about that kind of vision. I'm talking about what God has really shown you. Has God really shown you something in the midnight hour? Although you didn't hear God, you saw what God getting ready to do. I'm talking about that kind of vision. I'm talking about, did you see this thing? Or are you just imagining this thing? Or did you really see it? Or are you just thinking about what God getting ready to do? I know. Because God showed me this thing. And if he showed me, it surely got to come to pass. Because many of us, see, we have the wrong vision. Instead of waiting on God, we're getting impatient. You have to believe it, beloved. If God showed me this thing, if God spoke this thing, it is so. I can go to the bank and cash this thing and say, God, you know what, God, you spoke it. I can take it to the bank. I can cash this thing because I know payday is coming. If God revealed it, believe it. God revealed it for a reason. And if God is showing you something and he's showing you something and you done seen things come to pass back to back and God ain't never lied, why would God lie now? Wait on your vision. Don't wait, Terry. Wait on this thing. I know it's rough. I know you're getting impatient, but God, give me the anointing to wait. Let me wait on your vision because God, you already said, write the vision down and make it plain. Though it tarry, wait on it. And God's never showed me nothing and it's never came to pass. No, everything that God showed me came to pass. That's why I say, can't nothing make me doubt God. Can't nothing make me look back. I'm heading forward to my vision. How many of y'all got a vision right now? If God didn't showed you this thing, contend for it. If God revealed this thing to you over and over again, God is re revealing dreams in this hour. God is showing you what he's getting ready to do. And guess what he's about to do? He's about to show up and show out in this season. I'm talking about from the natural to the supernatural. I mean, get ready for what God is getting ready to do. Salvation for you, salvation for your husband, salvation for your children, salvation for those that's connected to you. So it's time to look, get connected with God, stay in the vein of God, stay in the spirit. Know if God showed you this vision, it's coming to pass. I, listen, I believe God. I believe God for the supernatural. I believe God for the impossible. Nothing is impossible without God. So I'm going to wait until my change come. I'm going to wait for my season to shift. Matter of fact, I'm in the middle of a shifting. Though this thing, Terry, though it, Terry, I'm waiting on this thing. Because God, you already showed me. You already revealed it to me in the midnight hour. You already revealed it to me in prayer that you're about to do this thing. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm about to give praise. <laughs> I'm about to give thanks. Because God, you spoke it. I know it's coming. I know this thing is right around the corner. Some of your blessings are right around the corner. Just like the mailman. If you see the mailman up the street, you know the mailman coming to your house. You know he getting ready to drop off a blessing. That's the kind of faith you got to have. That's the kind of hope you got to have. That's the kind of expectation you got to have. But guess what? God is getting ready to move. I still believe a turnaround. If the mailman is right around the corner, I know he coming to me. I know he not going to skip 6609. I know he coming. So it's the same way. You got to have that same hope. First natural, then spiritual. I'm just trying to encourage you. Nothing deep. Just simple revelation. Don't you know your life is revelation? But y'all listen, though that vision, Terry, wait on this thing. I just want to encourage y'all. How many of y'all will see this message? 
Yes, God bless you. Thanks for the heart. I thank y'all for coming on. Thank you for being faithful. It's good to see y'all. I'm really trying to get more back into uh, Periscope. I've been more on Facebook. But listen, I just want to come share this quick teaching tonight on the wrong vision. Because so many of us got the wrong vision. We focusing on what we want instead of what God wants. Don't you realize everything is not in the will of God? Some of you are doing things and it doesn't even include the will of God. Anytime, as I told you earlier, anytime you try to do something and it doesn't include God, it's the wrong vision. I know some of you have a vision that you want to have your own ministry. You want to help the homeless. You want to do different things. You want your own beauty salon. You want your own restaurant. I know you have your own vision, but is that the will of God for your life? Is that what God is taking you? God's will may not be for you to own a restaurant. His will, his will may be for you to pray, to stand in the gap, to minister. That may be God's vision for you. Some of y'all are walking in an anointing, but you're not even letting God use you because you stuck on your vision about what you want. Say, God, lead me, guide me. God, use me for your will because I know thy will be done. God's will going to be done whether you believe it or not. Whether you're ready for it or not, God's still going to move. God going to take you to where he wants to take you. One thing about it, if you connected to God, he's going to send you a vision. And guess what? The vision he sends you going to come to pass. You may not like it. You may not like it. But it's going to come to pass whether you believe it or not. Get ready for God and stay in the will of God. Don't come outside the will of God. Stay in the word as well and stay prayed up in this hour. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be encouraged. I just want to encourage you tonight because somebody need this word. Contend for the vision. If God showed you something, believe it, beloved. Y'all be blessed. Have a good night. Love y'all.